Well, good afternoon. In keeping with most people, um, I spend a lot of time on social media and particularly Twitter because that's entertaining. Um, Facebook's a bit laborious in the sense that a lot of times all you see is um, what people are doing, whereas Twitter, it's like people chuck a 250 word grenade in and then off they go with words, a word grenade. Um, so, yeah, interesting thing I saw earlier on Twitter from the the Michael Burke, who used to be, a, it might still be a news presenter, uh, Michael Burke, and he said, and I quote, if it's true, allegedly, um, that fat people should be left to die um, because of their choices, and that would ease the burden on the NHS and the economy and the climate and everything else, uh, which is a bit harsh, um, considering somebody like myself who's lost a lot of weight, and um, I have a lot of empathy for overweight people, not not a lot of sympathy, in the sense of, you know, we are all responsible for our choices, uh, but I have got empathy because it's very, very, uh, number one, it's easy to get fat, and number two, it's very, very hard to lose weight. You know, I've done it myself, it's difficult, uh, particularly nowadays because food is everywhere, um, and there's so much of it, different types of it, and products, and distractions, and whatever else. It's very, very hard. Now, so, yeah, saying that is a bit extreme, um, you, you know, even for me. So, I think, it, it brings back into focus the the problem is is that people have a certain attitude towards um, certain people so for example if you're overweight then people have a certain attitude towards that person in the sense that oh we're going to call them lazy or we're going to call them indisciplined or we're going to call them this or that or the other we're going to call them names and it comes back from it's been at school and I remember this uh, being an overweight child he's, you tease the fat kid you call them names um and and for me that's just calling people names which is not right it's not it's wrong and it's it's like calling anybody anything for any condition they have is is kind of wrong um and then so this fits into that category really it's just a sort of a you know yes okay if more people looked after themselves yes there would be a burden on the nhs there would be there will be less of a burden on the nhs there'd be less of a burden on the economy and that type of things but saying that is a bit harsh um, because it, particularly in this country, we're all entitled to, to health care. Um, the issue is the individual. So the issue comes down to um, when people go out and try and lose weight uh, or people are overweight, the responsibility for that lies on the individual. So the individual needs to make the choices and needs to make the decisions that are going to change the situation. Okay, So no one should be teaching anybody. No one should be saying anything about anybody personally. What should be happening is we should be creating an environment where if you choose to get fat, then there are consequences to that. And you can't be exempt of those consequences because of your opinion. So you can't say, well, I don't want to be... Um, sorry, I was going to say, I don't want to be called names or called fat or called whatever. Um so I don't have to have the consequences. Well, it doesn't work like that. It's a physical problem. So you know, while that's a bit of an ex that is extreme, for me and, and talking to you as an individual, if you're watching this video, what needs to happen is what we need to remember is that we need to just firstly take personal responsibility and say, well, OK, the, the cause and effect situation here is if I eat too much and don't exercise, I will get fat. Again, example, go on Twitter the other day trying to dig me out, telling me that being obese isn't a choice because he's injured, he can't exercise. And I didn't respond to him because no point, but I could have responded with, well, why don't you just eat less? Well, what's that going to cost you? You know, so, well, that's not going to affect your injury, is it eating less? You don't need to exercise to lose weight. It helps, but it's not the main driver. The first thing you need to do is sort your your, your intake of food out. So, yeah, this, this message is always good to, when you hear things like this, people go out and lose their minds, get outraged, get angry it's pointless it's pointless anybody trying to call out overweight people because overweight people know they're overweight they know they're unhappy they, they know all these things already we don't need to be reminding them of that what we need to be doing as coaches in society is helping people to feel empowered to change it and make better choices yeah because like i said the other week trying to make somebody who doesn't like themselves pretend they like themselves is delusional trying to make somebody think they're body positive when they've got a 51 inch waist is delusional that's delusional and that's what we need to move away from and get people facing the reality of the situation and get them taking personal responsibility for it yeah and you can do that it's it's fairly simple it's not complicated you just need the right system uh, the right support the right coaching and it's possible and if it costs then invest the money because I guarantee you most people if they actually looked at what they spend 
they could afford gym membership, even a coach if they really wanted to. So I know that's not an easy message to hear, um, but it, it will give you the responsibility and ultimately liberate you and help you to feel better about yourself, which is ultimately what we want to do. So if you want my help, that's absolutely fine. Contact me via my profile or the page, or if you're a woman over the age of 40 based in Birmingham and you want to uh, come for a free trial at the Fit Boy Bootcamp, we have got some spots next week for our trial. All you need to do is click the link above, click the link below, uh, and I'll get you the details uh, across. Um, but again, if you feel this message is a benefit, I'd appreciate a like and a share and a comment down below because that helped me very much indeedy. Have a good day.